Hello! Happy Thursday. Oh my gosh, let me turn that off. I just saw somebody say it's their first live. Melissa Soros. Welcome to the studio. Love to see a new face. Um, lives are the best. So happy to see ya. My phone's going off. Hey, Tay, my sister's joining pay night tonight. Beasley. Oh, yes, the Zero family has made it. Oh, I love that. Nico just finished work in time. Rosie's here. Hello, Rosie. Zero squad. Love to see it. Love to see it. Hello, everybody. Today's a good day. This, it's nice to see me too. Right, Rosie? I haven't seen, seen you in a long time. So it is good. Glad to be on your screen, cutie. I saw on when Rosie tagged me in her story, you guys, she's painting a huge canvas today, which is very exciting. I think I saw you say the biggest you've ever done before, which is great. And which makes me, I will bring this up to everybody. When you're painting bigger, don't get frustrated. It's gonna be a little bit, it's, things are gonna take a little bit longer, okay? Just so you know up the top of it, it's not like you're doing it wrong or anything. It's just gonna be a little bit longer than when you paint something really small, okay? Just be prepared. Um, but it's fun, I personally like painting bigger, so we'll see how you like it today, Rosie. So, I don't know if you guys see, I'm wearing um, our t-shirt. Slob it from uh, one of our game nights from Jackbox the other day. Jackbox. Jackbox? Yes, that's what it's called. I always mix it up with my business card company, Jukebox. Um, but we played games with all of you guys and made, it was called TKO. It's like a t-shirt game. And like some people draw pictures and some people write words and we try to mix them together to make the best shirts. And the Schlob mob picked this baby. Schlob it on. I think I have one more left if somebody wants one. But also, I don't think she's here today, but I think her name is, what is it? Is it like Passive Light or something? Um, she got, let me see, because you can order them too if you want to at the end of the game. And she got the Batman one. Do you guys remember? Was anybody there? Anybody live right now at the games night that we had? It wasn't too long ago, was it? I know Justin was there because he was there. My name is Pasta, exactly. Got my shirt from the Jackbox games. My name is Pasta. Oh no, come on, come on, come on camera. You can do this. Everybody needs to see it. There we go. Uh, Game night was so fun, but was only in the second one. Ah, that's all right. We're gonna have, I know we said we're gonna have one a month, but this month is coming to an end and we didn't have one. We'll have one soon. We like them too. Bubsy was there. Oh, hello Bubsy, by the way. Uh, anyway, I'm getting on a tangent. For the people who weren't there, you're like, um, I came here to paint a picture, Taylor. Let's do it, okay? The Taytayski Cartel, hello RCB, good to see ya. I love how every Thursday, there's always us regulars here together and I think that's awesome. Okay, so I was trying to figure out while that, hello from, P oh, hello Beasley. You're, we're a zero, we're adding you into the zero family. Oops, oops, oops. It's been so long. The Riz, oh my gosh. So many nice, <laughs> I was gonna say nice old faces, but that's not what I mean. But like, so nice to see all these regulars coming back today. You know, I love that. So when we're doing our quick, um, when that thing was going on, <laughs> that countdown was going twice, sorry about that. I was trying to figure out what's the easiest way for us to paint a chameleon quick because I've seen lots of comments, okay? Many people are nervous. They thought that this one would be too hard. And I don't think so, but I never know. So I just wanted to quickly draw it out um, so that we have some shapes to go off of, okay? Do, 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 so that you aren't too stressed. We're too blessed to be stressed in here, okay? So, it's gonna be simple shapes. 
lots of color. Like I said on my uh, stories, the picture that we're looking at is an original like watercolor sketch that I did in my sketchbook. And we're not doing watercolor, right? We're doing acrylic. So it is gonna be a little bit different of a look, but it'll be close, okay? Okay, it's gonna, it looks like a monkey right now and that's actually hilarious. So this is the shape that we will be using. <laughs> okay, do you see that? And look, me holding it beside the picture right here. Do you kind of see where all those shapes are getting from? The only thing really missing is his big arched back, but we're gonna add that. Nailed it. Pfft, looks like a monkey, we're golden, okay? I'll hide them down here just so you have a good idea as to what I'm doing and why. I know that some people aren't visual learners, so that doesn't help them, but some are. I just try to make it the easiest for everyone, okay? All right, look how many times it took me to figure that out. So, let me go over my rules quick and let's get to painting. Okay? Let's do this. Number one. I'm not a trained art teacher, okay? I'm just a full-time artist. I've painted my whole life. So if I teach something weird or wrong or off or something, don't be scared <clears throat> to tell me. <clears throat> I just swallowed wrong. Don't be scared to let me know. If I'm going too fast, if you think I can explain something better, please let me know. You might be helping somebody in the comments right now and you might be helping somebody on YouTube in the future. Hello, YouTubers. We see you. Um, number two, totally with this one, I also suggest if you are more comfortable with a pencil, okay? If you're more comfortable with a pencil, start with a pencil. You don't have to start with the paint like I do. Um, I will teach you how to start with paint, obviously, but if you're somebody who's more comfortable with a pencil, go for it. Don't press too hard on your canvas though. Uh, graphite will shed onto the canvas and your paint will mix with that gray color. Pencil's a good way for me to start. Rosy, perfect. See, there you go. I love that it'll, different things work for different people, right? So just don't push too hard. That's all I suggest. But pencil's totally fine. If you're more comfortable with a pencil, go for it. Um, number two is don't treat this painting too precious, okay? I've already told you that none of our paintings are gonna look like this one exactly. None of our paintings are even gonna look the same. It's good that we're gonna have a bunch of different chameleons and that's what we like, all right? So if every single brush stroke, you're like, I'm gonna ruin it. It's not gonna be a fun process for you, right? So I'm giving you permission to let go. And if it turns out to be a crappy painting, turns out to be a crappy painting and that's okay. Right? But number four is trust the process because nine times out of 10, everybody who comes along and sticks to the last five minutes, they fall in love with their painting by the end. Okay, 100% like Nico said, words to live by, trust the process. Look at this. If you are halfway through and your painting looks like this, you're gonna be like, weird, this doesn't look like a chameleon, and then you're gonna quit. But I don't want you to quit because if you keep it going, it's gonna look almost like this. All right? Number five is water is your friend, um, especially with acrylic paint, it is a water-based paint. So if you start pulling your paint across and it's not pulling right or something seems weird, it's probably because there's not enough water on your brush. There's sometimes where you wanna use a dry brush, but there's sometimes where you don't. And I will always talk you through the amounts of water and stuff that you're gonna try to get on your brush. It's okay that you're gonna feel that out as you go. And number six, I can't count is have fun, okay? That's what these two hours are for. We just wanna let loose, do something we've never done before, and see what happens. Hang out with some friends in the peanut gallery, like we like to say, and uh, see what happens, okay? Are we ready to paint a chameleone? I always tell you, if you have black, white, yellow, red, and blue, you can mix any color in the rainbow. But if you have green and you have orange and you have those secondary colors, it just makes it, your life a little bit easier for you, okay? But it doesn't mean you can't make it happen without those first five colors that I mentioned. Lisa loves being in the gallery. <laughs> Thanks. You're the best. All right, so you pencilers take out your pencils. You painters, I would highly suggest to use a very light color, like a yellow, a light green, for you to do your initial drawing. The only reason that I don't do it is because the camera doesn't pick it up. But realistically, you want the lightest color on the background. So even though I'm using this green here, 
I would realistically prefer you to be using a lighter color like a yellow because you'll be able to see it fine, right? Remember that this is our rough sketch. Exactly. Like some people are using pencils, right? It's our rough sketch. We just do it in paint here at this studio, okay? So you're gonna grab a little brush. It can be pointed. It can be square because some people like to use them vertically like that, right? Like look, when you turn it to the side, it basically is like the pointed brush we have, right? It can be square or it also can be thin. Little Tay Tacy the goat, RCV, just pumping my tires all the time. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna take that little brush. We're gonna take a deep breath and be like, we're gonna have fun. And we're gonna look at our canvas, right? It is a rectangle similar to the picture, oops, to the side here. And we're gonna just roughly try to imagine where that guy's gonna go. When you try to do take that first moment to just kind of try to decide where he lays out, it'll help you from not painting him too far off the side. It'll usually help you to leave a little bit extra room. So you can imagine like our branch is gonna go roughly here. Cool, cool. Now you're gonna take your brush. Let me just scooch that there. Dip it into your water dish. And you're just gonna scoop water onto your palette with your brush. Pencilers, chill for uno momento. All right, so we've got that pile of water on our palette and we're gonna take a tiny little touch of yellow, green, whatever you decided to use. I'm using green. And you're gonna mix that color into that big pile of water, but just little touches of it because you want way more water than paint because we're just doing a rough little sketchy. We don't want it to be thick, chunky paint that we can't paint over. Pencilers also scoop water onto your pencil. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Take that back. I realize that every time I've never told you guys not to do that, but I hope that. <laughs> Okay, and the first thing that we're gonna do is actually just lay out where that tree or that like log thing is gonna be, okay? So we're gonna come down a little bit. It's not quite in the center. We're gonna go above center and we're just gonna draw a line just down-ish. Can you guys see the green or should I use a darker color? I'll just make it a little bit darker. I just know the camera doesn't pick it up well. Remember, if yours is like super light and super faded, that's totally fine because you're painting over it. You just want to be able to see where it's laid out. So we've decided our log or tree branch or whatever is going to go roughly there. Okay? And now let's decide where that head's going to go. And it's just going to be a big old circle, okay? Let's decide like right here. Big old circle. Make sure there's room at the top for his little like <laughs> thing. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. Remember that you can go around in circles a couple times because like it's almost impossible to make a circle perfect in one go. So see how I went around a couple times until I found the shape that I wanted. Oh my gosh, and if you're using green, sorry, here I said telling you, I'd tell you how to mix them. Green is with blue and yellow. If you want a limeier green like this, you'd put less blue, more yellow. Just me being a jerk, not teaching y'all like I said I would. Okay, look at that. Our chameleon has a big old head. And from that head, we're going to draw a big old egg. Okay, just at the bottom, and it's gonna follow the angle of this tree line we've did, done. It's a branch, I don't know why I keep calling it a tree. And you're going to make a big old egg. Remember, this is just the main part of his body. Right, we're not worrying about his big, like, hooded hunchback. If you see where that little white line is on our chameleon, that's where this little egg is fitting in there. Justin wanted to do this one, ooh. I'd be interested to see how you whip this guy up in your digital magic. I just had a mental panic that it wasn't recording, but we're recording, we good, okay. Hey, get down here, a little picture. Okay, so we have a circle, we have an egg coming out behind him. All right. 
And then we're going back to our little picture. Will it stick to my canvas? Oh, nice. It did. Okay, and now we've got that circle. Let's come on down and let's build his little arms up. And let's just put a little bean in there. Remember, this is why it's important to trust the process. Because people coming in right now, if you didn't have the picture of the chameleon there, they'd be like, what in the heck are these people painting? But we know. Okay, we know. Hello, Vincent. Thank you for the coffee. That makes me want to go make a coffee, to be honest. All right, and from that bean, we're going to nestle right into the corner. That's where we're going to start our next bean. Like Justin said, hashtag bean science. And we are going to make another little bit longer bean coming out. So now we have that folded arm. Like that. I don't know how good my microphone is, but it's, so I live in an apartment and um, I can hear when my upstairs neighbor goes to like peas. <laughs> and I literally could just hear it. I can't hear them talk. I can't hear them cough. I can't hear like anything from up there, but I can hear that. And I was curious if you guys could hear it. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so we've got his little arm going. See how I didn't bring it all the way down to the lock because we're going to leave some room. It's okay if you did bring it all the way down, not the end of the world. All right, and now let's draw another leg, okay, on this other side. And guess what? It's just beans again. We're going to come into the bottom. See, we've got the, the, the full egg here. <laughs> Shouting out shapes at you. We're going to come underneath it, and we're going to draw another bean. I know we're going to have to start referencing beans. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, this probably doesn't look like a bean. Maybe it looks like, um, I don't know why the first thing that came to mind were like those licorice candies that are like little like sprinkles kind of. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Do I know what I'm talking about? Maybe not. Um, okay, so there's that one leg. And we are just going, good and plenty? Is that what it's called? Beasley. Speaking my language. Good and plenty. Nailed it. Nailed it. These little licorice things. Hello, fancy pants McBuddy. <laughs> Love your username. Mike and Ike's are actually probably a better thing to reference. That's not what I was talking about, but actually those, Mike and Ike's is probably better. Every time I go to draw a bean, I say, oh Jesus, <laughs> Sarah, why? <laughs> and hey, Max Brown, come in with the, I've never seen. Oh, just kidding, this cutie little rainbow. It looks different on this comment. Thank you. You guys give me props, you sweet angels. Okay. I know it gives just a little like, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh look, everyone's clicking it. Love it. I did see that we have some new props. Props, McGee's for everyone. Okay. How's our chameleon going? Does he feel weird? It's okay if he does. From there, let's just whip out a tail. Rosie says good. Yes. I'm so excited that you're painting on a big canvas, Rosie. I can't wait to see. Okay. So from here, we're going to imagine, basically, we're going to be filling in some of that spot when we start getting color in. Right now, it doesn't matter. But we are going to go right in this little crease of the <laughs> good and planty <laughs> and the egg. <laughs> okay. And we're going to bring a line just down first, okay? Right? We're coming on down, and then I'm going to have to move him. Because we're just going to bring it on up. It's like a big fancy J. Ooh, that you guys, it's starting to fade. I'll make it darker. Right? You can give it a little curl at the bottom if you want to. 
Again, I'm gonna bring it close just so that, oops. Just so that, I'm just painting on everything. Just so that you can see how like serious I am about not treating this precious and being very okay if the lines are messy and crazy, okay? Like, see, when you bring it up close, my brush got a little crazy on me. I decided a different line on there. It's fine. Oh, I just, that was a paint night that I did. A private paint night that I did for somebody. Actually, not just for somebody. There was like over 50, like five zero people in that Zoom paint night, which is pretty cool. Oh, Dresden. We haven't seen your face for a little bit. Good evening. No, you made it. And you made it. We've only been on for half an hour, so you're good. Nico's right, yes, it was only an hour. 50 people, one hour. Because they um, were at work, so it was like a work, like right after lunch. Um, no, it was an hour to paint, well this, yeah, half an hour to paint what we've got here. <laughs> but for about 20 minutes I was yapping away probably, maybe 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> it was fun. Like, look at how simple it was, right? So it was literally just like, we painted the back mountain, and then on top of it, we painted this one. We added a little more orange, painted that one, and then put a black layer on top. Boom. And because the people attending were all in Ontario, um, you're not allowed to buy non-essential items in Ontario right now, so a lot of people couldn't get paints. So I also, at the same time, did a pencil crayon one. And some people did it with pen... Tencel, so it was nuts. It was nuts. Okay, let's get back to the chameleone. Max Brown, that's more your speed, hey? Maybe we'll bring that out. Maybe we'll do that one live here too. Okay, we're coming up to our little chameleon here, and we're gonna make his hunchback. See how he's coming together where this log is gonna be longer than it was there. We're good. We'll make his tail bigger if you want. That's cool. But we're going to come almost to the top of our big circle head. And we're going to bubble up. But then we're going to come down the same way. The same shape of the egg. You see? I'm basically just copying whoop, the angle of the egg that we drew down here, right? And coming to match it up together. Does that line make sense? There are some people who do the YouTubes later, Max Brown, that uh, they do them quick because they just like fast forward and speed through what they need to see and do. So maybe you could make a two hour paint night into less than one. Oops. Okay, we've got a crazy hunchback of Notre Dame here. And this next step, I promise you're gonna be like, what, this is weird, but it's okay. Let's put a big old circle right at the top and see how it's split in half. Half of it is outside the circle, half of it's inside the circle. Kenzie, the, first of all, hello, Kenzie. And then Kenzie going, she's the hunchback in Notre Dame watching this right now. Maybe. Oh, Max Brown, oh, not actual speed, you mean... Actual content is more your jam. That's cool. I know I should do more landscapes for people. I like just pushing y'all to see what you can do. Most of the time, everyone's so proud, and I love that. Okay, so we've got that little top circle, and that's going to be his whoop top part of his head. We can even make it a little bit bigger. Also, Kenzie just said, sorry, I'm late. Been catching up on the new circle episodes. Oh my gosh, I didn't know today was the day. I'll be watching all those right after this. I love the circle. Okay, so we've got that funny little space bun on top of our chameleon's head, all right? But now we gotta do his eyeball. And it is basically just another big circle right here. Talking about the circle. 
And see, this circle's a little bit bigger. It's gonna be his crazy little eye. His crazy eye, okay? Okay. How about them apples? And now let's paint his pointy little triangle schnoz, okay? Like so. We'll go a line straight out. Imagine we're in the middle of this circle. Hello, Nick and Stecken. Haven't seen you for a while. Right, we put that little line across. And let's just make it a triangle for now. It's going to be very pointy at the moment, but that's okay. You've been busy. That's okay. It's good to see you anyways. Good busy or annoying busy. I feel like those are two different things. All right, we stress busy. Oh, the worst of them all. Unfortunately, it seems like that's a common. I think lots of people are in stress busy modes. This, yeah, so see, Kenzie says same. Okay, our last step before we start painting things is we're going to go to the point of this triangle, okay? And we are going to make a curved line. See how it's curving up a little bit? See that? Whoop. And then just circle it off. How is that? I know it looks so crazy. I know. I know. But I promise you, we've got things. It'll come together. Because what's rule number four? Trust the process? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. So here is our chameleon. He has begun. Oh, I guess. Kenzie says Schlobodon is rule number four. Schlobodon is just the principle, okay? That was weird. I wonder what's going on outside. It looks like a chicken mouse hybrid. It does it, it or hybrid. Sorry, it totally does. But that's fine. We're good to go. We can also maybe we don't talk about pay night. First rule of pay night is we don't talk about pay night. Fancy pants, McBuddy. You're not wrong. Just kidding. Actually, you are wrong. I want everybody to talk about pay night. <laughs> Please talk about pay night. <laughs> okay. So one thing I guess we can do is you can thicken out that tail. Oops, I made it a little, eh, that's fine. See how I just am kind of parallel matching the line we've already drawn and now his tail is thicker. Okay, we've got our little chicken hybrid, chicken mouse hybrid, ready to go, I think. Maybe we will just draw a foot right here, actually, too. And the foot is just going to be a lumpy... It's a kidney bean! <laughs> Painting is the best COVID-era hobby. Hey, I'm, I think it's the best hobby all the way. All the time. But you are not wrong. A lot of people have picked up painting this quarantine. and uh, Oh, whatever. Lockdowns, quarantine, COVID, whatever you want to say. All right, folks, are we ready to start painting some color on our cutie little guy? Hmm? Now I suggest that you take green out if you didn't have green. 100% ready. That's what I like to hear. Okay, probably because I've just been so slow today. We've got um, green on our palettes. We've got yellow on our palettes, okay? I'm going to take a little sneaky peeky at Rosie's because I love seeing where you guys are at and how it's going. Okay, so it's perfect. <laughs> it's going great, Rosie. It's going great. All right, so we're going to just start with green and yellow on our palettes, okay? Because if we got blue out, it would start really messing with the colors a lot. Um, we're just going to stick with two colors for now while we start throwing some paint around. And again... Trusting the process is going to be so important in this moment, in this painting, because see how our chameleon is very textured, right? It's a bunch of like little spotty little dots of color. Um, so 
until the end when we start outlining everything, um, it will look like a big blobby color of disaster mess, okay? TTP, baby, trust the process, okay? So I'm gonna get a little bit of a bigger paintbrush out. All right, again, it can be pointed, it can be square. That's probably a little big, actually. Mm. It can be squared, even a little rounded like that if you want. It don't matter. And we're not gonna worry about that really watered down consistency, that chocolate milk consistency that we made earlier, which I don't even think I said chocolate milk, so I'm just failing you today hard. Um, we want more paint than water on our brushes, okay? But we do want to get our paintbrush wet. We're going to start with some green. Again, if you don't have green, blue with yellow. Play around with putting more yellow than blue or vice versa. You can add some white in there as well if you want to play around with the colors. We're going to start with green and we're going to start on his back, okay? And we are just going to like dab, dab, dab some orange color, okay? All the way down. And see what I mean by dab, dab, dab? She's messy, she doesn't really have much rhyme or reason. Let me zoom in maybe here, let's see. Look at this weird creature. <laughs> okay, wait, let me get the reference photo on here too because I always think that's very important to see. Um, where are you, buddy? Oh my gosh, she's ginormous. Give me a moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a disaster. He's huge, and he's turned the wrong way. You guys just keep dab-dabbing over there while I just transform this little guy. Okay, okay. Revenge of the huge chameleon <laughs> I don't know why I keep on calling him a chameleon. I know that's not how they're pronounced, but in How I Met Your Mother, that's Ted called it a chameleon. Ch -ch -ch Chia! Okay. There we go. Whew. Took 20 minutes, but we've got our... Oh my gosh. Let me just touch this. Oh my gosh, it won't let me take the picture. There we go. Okay. So, see how we're just dab-dabbing some green in there. <laughs> Back to business over here. <laughs> if you want to add a little more water onto your brush, that's cool. But we're going to slowly go down and make these stripies going down. We're going to leave his belly clean. But while we're doing that, you can go back in, clean off your brush a little bit, and go back into yellow... And maybe just dab in some yellow pieces in there. And again, super messy. Like, we want them textured. Like, a chameleon is... Wait a minute! My brain just realized I read somebody said they owned a chameleon. Who in the comments said they owned a chameleon and that it was really cool? Sorry, my ADD brain just, like, put that away for a second and now I remembered. Because I kind of wanted a chameleon. Were they cool pets? Was it Matt? Matt, come back. I'm sorry I ignored you earlier. I think they would be a super cool. But see how we are just dab dabbing along? We've got the yellow down the stripe there. And we're building up texture in our little creature of the deep. Okay, we're gonna come back over here to dab dab dab. And again, if the dabs can be messy, I was just going to do a dab, but I'm too old for that. <laughs> okay. Right? Isn't that a dance move? I'm not even going to do it. Except now the whoa is, is it the whoa? The yeah. <laughs> just kidding. On to the next one. Let's just keep dab dabbing away. Getting some texture in there. All right. All right. All right. Oops, what am I clicking? I have plants, that's true. I know I don't have a chameleon, but I have a pet plant. That's that's what we've got in this house. We have lots of plants. <laughs> I love me some plants. 
Some of them may be slowly dying a little bit. Um, some of them are doing the best they've ever done and I've changed nothing. I don't understand. And it's totally okay if we get some dabs in the little small spots that we don't want. I mean, that we're not anticipating to get them in there. That's totally okay. It'll add to it in the end. The chameleon is wrinkly and scaly. So we're just helping add the texture in there. And I'm just gonna dab in this spot as well. Okay, okay, okay. You got one for me the next time you come to Calgary? I'm spoiled. Thank you. Love that, add it to the family. You know what's actually funny, your son, is the first person to ever buy me. Like, he started my plant, love. When Dan and I moved in together, however many years ago that was, he bought me a little fern. Fern Gully! My first plant ever. And we still have him. He's still thriving. I'm going through and I'm still just dab, dab, dabbing away. Some nice yellow. Maybe let's come on down his tail. And you don't have to dab as much on his tail. You can maybe even just swipe some yellow. Maybe. I'm pretty sure I started this guy in yellow. The time lapse is on my Instagram of the original I did of this. Mean green Thursday evening. Hello, tender bear. How you doing? Yours is the love fern. Oh, I love that. I want a comedian. I mean a chameleon. <laughs> what if you got a comedian chameleon? Just a real funny guy. <laughs> okay. See how we're just... Playing around with some of that color. And now we're gonna come to his little face. And yours is yellow, or well, should be yellow or whatever at the moment. So it might be a little bit easier in some of these spots. So we'll start with yellow just around his nose here. All right. And we're going to follow up the rim of his eyeball. And we're going to cut that back circle in half. See how that worked there? We basically did a big outline over the eye with a swings out the side. Just like a mustache over top of that eye. I see what you did there, Tay. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I think he's coming together. I'm actually pumped on this. Like I said, I am a terrible teacher in the sense that I don't plan ahead of how we're going to do this until that five minute counter starts. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I figure it out. <laughs> but so far, it's working. We're good. We're happy. Okay, so we're putting some more yellow. Dab, dab, dab. And down here too, just like a little backwards C. Okay. Do you kind of see that chameleon head coming together? Just a little bit. Getting paint all over myself. And again, a lot of this stuff isn't gonna make sense. And tell me if it's too confusing or not translating well on your canvas, okay? You guys really help me out when you tell me what's going wrong and it helps me later on. Like I always say, like, I think there's about 60 like six zero paint nights on my youtube right now because we've been doing this for over a year every thursday sometimes twice a week um and the start i wasn't a good teacher because i didn't know what i was doing but after doing all those ones and like seeing what works and what doesn't i'm a lot better now so the more that you guys let me know the better i'll be okay sarah's is cute little potato head uh you're using a dollar store canvas and somebody told you to get it wet first. Interesting. Oh, and now the colors are working good. 
Okay, well, that's all that matters then. Good. I've never heard that get it wet first. 15 minutes before paint night started, you got it wet. Oh, okay. Rosie's teaching us tips and tricks, y'all. And Nick and Stick and a lion is next. Okay. A lion is next. It's going to be a good one. All right, where are we at? It's 8.45. Cool, cool, cool. We're on good time. So we are going to come under this little nose that we just drew. Are we going to do that now? Yeah, we are. Okay, so we have yellow. <laughs> and we're going to come right underneath that little beak that we made. Just a little bit. Like, let's say if this is the line that we are looking at, let's go in the middle of that line right here. And we are going to bring that line down with just a yellow line right underneath it. See there, I'm just thickening out underneath his little face. Because now we're just making his mouth, his funny, frowny little mouth. And you can paint that over if you want. Go up. Okay, let me see. When my head's doing that, I'm just looking at the reference photo back and forth to our photo to see what next moves we should make. Let's just... Since we have green on our palette still, whatever green you're using, we are gonna make cute little spikes on the back of his hunchback, okay? So if you have a smaller brush, I would grab it. Let me see, like smaller, like smaller, like these. Like these. A smaller pointed brush will probably help you out. Then you're going to get it wet and go into your green. Not the chocolate milky water down consistency. More paint than water. But a little bit of water to help you pull it around, okay? And we're going to come over here to his little hunchback. And we are going to just draw a little spikies, okay? So we're going to just start by making them biggest at the top. They're just little triangles. All right, at the top, they're gonna be bigger. And as we go down, we're gonna make them smaller. And as we do this, again, I, for new people, I keep forgetting them. I always just assume everybody's been at the mall, but I know you haven't. To use a paintbrush and to make small little lines or little shapes. I've got to do a pressure lesson. Let's do it on the back of this. So if you use just the tip of the paint, this is kind of a bad brush to show you, but if you want to make a thin line, you're going to use the side of your hand. As long as the paint is dry, you're going to use your palm of your hand to hold most of the pressure so that you can put just the tip of the paintbrush. So like I, I hold it sideways so you can see that like literally just the tip is touching that piece of paper. And when I pull it across, we've got a nice little line, right? But if we use that same paintbrush and we put every, like we're pushing as hard as we can down on, see every single, like it's all the way to that metal bit of the paintbrush. We push it all the way down. And when you pull that across, look at how much bigger that line is than the top line. And that's because of pressure. When you want little lines, little tiny, just the tip, tip, tip of the paintbrush, okay? So when you're making these cutie little spikies, I'm, my hand, like the palm of my hand, or side or whatever that is, <laughs> is on the canvas, as long as there's no wet paint underneath it, which allows me to just you not put too much pressure on just the brush. Because if you're not, if your arm's just floating and you're trying to use just the tip of it, it's really hard to get the control, okay? And as you're going on down his little hunchback, one thing, remember, that our original outlines, does the cutie jar, thanks, Dresden. You guys are the ones who made that cutie jar, so. You cute, cute souls. Okay, so remember that the lines we did at the start are just a rough outline, right? Like if you wanna to decide to like maybe make his hunchback come out a little bit more, like that, you can because it doesn't matter about what the original lines we were using were. They're just there for reference to help us lay stuff out, okay? So then back to our little spikies.
Oops. Right? As we go down, let's just make them smaller and smaller until they're basically just... Let me just get some good paint on there. Do, do, do. Until they're just little, like spikes tiny little bumpies all the way at the bottom i think i stopped about here is where i get my spikes to go to until they get too small to be existent visually i guess oh i'm doing them really weird there we go and again, you can go back in. If you want them to be bigger, make them bigger. Who, the world's your oyster. Okay, spike, spike, spike. All right, how's that? Okay. So is our chameleon looking a little bit more chameleon-y? Come on now. Right? I think so. And still too, if you want to, you can add more green to his arm. But a lot of this stuff can be colored on top after. I hope you're having fun just dab dabbing away. Because you can come back into his face too and just in some of these spots, same old thing, just dab in some orange. Same in his little up thing. Let's just color that in green as well. Have I just been saying orange when I mean green? Because that happens in my brain. Yeah, say so sorry. Say I just realized as I was doing it, I'm lying to you. I meant green, and my brain just said orange instead. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Beasley. Still using green, just confusing the world with it. But green and orange in my brain always flip for some reason, and I don't know why. Orange, green, what's the difference? <laughs> Oh, you know, just a few things. <laughs> I know they don't look the same, but the words always flip. It's been a constant issue for many, many years. And I did just caught it right before I saw Beasley's comment. I was like, wait a minute, where does this orange I speak of? Tap, tap, tap. Okay. I'm going to let you guys keep tap tapping away for a bit. Remember, we're still gonna be adding some blue in there and the reds are kind of more highlighted. It's basically blue, yellow, and green that fills up most of our chameleon. All right, and down here too, you can kind of start tapping in some like, kind of like he has lines. Do, 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 do. Oops. Remember, with acrylic paint, it is tough to make a mistake because you can paint over top it all the time. This is almost stippling with a paintbrush. 110%, you are exactly right. But if you have less water on your brush, you can kind of get that dry, crackly look if you want that. The more water you have, it will be harder to get the little stipples, but it's, again, a new technique. Like, it's good for you to try and feel out and see what more water or less water or whatever feels like um, to you. Because it's easier for me to say, add enough water till it looks like chocolate milk, but it's easier <laughs> once you've done it a couple times to, like, actually know what that is means and feels like, you know? I have the original here, he's glittery. Can you guys see the glitter? Oh no, you can't. How do you? No, oh. I added glitter on him, which you could add on yours too, really, I guess, hey? Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? OK, 
Okay, he's looking pretty good. I think so, at least. Is it less chicken mouse hybrid? Is he getting a little bit more chameleon y? Okay. Dresden sees a chameleon. What would you see, says Theresa. I know it's Teresa and I always say the Riza. I hope that's okay. Um, Vincent, what would you call your art style? That's a good question. Um, traditional, uh, I know like pop art gets thrown around with my work a lot. Um, because I paint lots of pulp culture. Um, I don't know, you guys. Realistic pop art, maybe. Does anyone else have any good suggestions? I don't. Schlob chic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dresden, you get me. <laughs> That is awesome. Okay, um, what are we doing? We're back to we're back to our little chameleon. So we are going to get our red out. And also, if you have orange, get your orange out. But if you don't have orange, it's fine because you already have yellow on your palette, and that will give you orange, right? What red do I want? I'm taking out the cadmium, so just get ready for my nose to start itching. Oh, shoot. I was going to uh, time lapse this, and I just looked at the empty spot where my time lapse guy goes. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got red and orange, but if you don't have orange, you've got red and yellow, and that will make orange, okay? We kind of want our paint to be dry. We don't really want these colors to mix in too much, especially with the green. Green isn't the nicest to mix with things. Um, so if your paint's super, super, super wet, I would highly suggest to just chill for a little bit, okay? Don't be stressed, because we're just gonna be dab dabbing away for a while, nothing new and crazy. But we're gonna start with red. Okay? And you can use whatever size brush you want. You want a little guy, maybe you want a bigger guy. Maybe you want an even bigger one. Like maybe you want to tap stuff on. Rosie probably wants one this big because think of how big her canvas is compared to ours, right? So I always, I don't want you to get too hung up on what paint brushes I'm using because it's very dependent on what your canvas size, your chameleon size, you know what I'm saying? What all that is. So, now we have red, and for real, I'm talking red. I'm not just throwing random colors out like I did with the orange. <laughs> okay. And we kind of want a nice in-between. We want not the chocolate milky consistency, but we want a good amount of water on our brush, maybe a little bit more water than paint. And you do that by dabbing it into your water dish, right, and bringing it back onto the palette. Just to have it a little bit more watered down. Because the more water you add into your paint, the more translucent it gets, right? And we like that because then it gives us different values to deal with. Oh, I made his arm. We'll figure that out later. So see how this is a little bit watered down. It's not as, let's go zoomy in here. It's not as thick as the paint we've been schlobbing on, okay? And you can even like, Wipe it off a little bit on your brush. Go into just your water and bring your brush with just water and pull that across. If that's too hard for you, if it doesn't work on the medium, like the canvas or the paper you're working on, like you can just put a thick slob of paint in there. You don't have to worry about it being this watered down. Maybe that's a little bit more of an advanced move. I don't know. So don't worry if that's not something that you want to do. But see how we're just filling in his belly? 
And like depending if you have yellow, orange, or green, like I left a little bit there because I like to see those colors. I like to see the work that I've done already. I don't want to cover up everything I've done. But can you see how this is the same color of red and I haven't added water, white into it, but since I've added water, there is an obvious light to dark. You see that? Again, if you don't want to do that water technique, add a little schlob of white on your paintbrush when you get up to the closer top part here to lighten it up. And still same with the same consistency of paint that you're using before. We're going to sneak in some little red dot dot dots, okay? Again, I have a good chunk of water on my brush, so these are going to dry a little bit, water down. But again, if you don't like, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but if you don't like that watered down consistency job, don't do it. That's okay. I just try to teach you guys how I paint. So if it's not if it's stressful and it's not working out for you, then do whatever you're comfortable with, okay? You won't fail. There's no failing in this class, okay? All right, so... Oh, maybe I should bring this up so you can see what we're painting there. See, I'm just bringing up some of those little red spot spots. Happy little accidents, exactly. Honestly, I learned how to paint by, like, mistakes fully. Not f how to paint. I learned how my style, my, like, drippy whatever of a style... And same with Justin, see? Look, I'm going to put some red little dab, dab, dabs under his little chin. Because why not? Heck, if you want... <laughs> Heck, I don't know why I said that, but... If you want to, like, you can sneak in some little color splotches in some of these spots. Why not? Oh my gosh, should we splatter some red spots on him? Maybe we should. Okay, and back. I will say that, again, that, what is it? A warning, I guess. Some people don't like splatter. Some people get stressed out by it. So again, if you don't want to do splatter, don't. But if you want to try something fun, let's do it. So to do splatter, you're going to start just like we started our painting. Again, if you want to just keep dabbing away, go for it. We're going to do the same thing, though, that we started at the start. We scooped a bunch of water, right, from our water dish. And we brought it over close to our red, and we brought little tiny bits of red in there to make a nice, like, let's just... Can you see how I'm, like, pulling it in here to make that good old chocolate milky consistency? But... You might want even just a little bit more watery than that, okay? You're gonna dab, like tap your brush off a couple times just to get some access off. And like I say, I always say it hangs loose away from your painting. I flick the actual paintbrush, like the hairs of the paintbrush, that's what I flick. Some people flick the metal part. Some people take another paintbrush and they smack it against it. Some people pull back the paintbrush whatever you play with it if you've never done it before maybe it'll help to like try on a piece of paper first do i have any for my brush i just lost it all in that little demonstration okay so i'm going to come maybe a little bit closer than it hangs loose maybe i'll zoom in too and i am going to just splatter and it's going to go off because it's very hard to control the splatter but to me that's the best part okay and we're just going to go like this. How's that? Do you see the splatter coming? It got splatter on the outside. That's okay. But if you don't like it, get a rag or a paper towel that is wet and you can dab, dab, dab all the little splatters around the edges. What would a paint by night be without splatter and updrips? Dresden? You're not wrong. Speak my language. Speak in my language. Okay. Like, see how this is drying? Like, see how it's darker right at the bottom and it's lighter at the top? That's with that water application. But you can also achieve that by adding white to regular paint without that watery down consistency like I was doing. 
We're gonna bring some red down the tail. I'm just copying what I did last time. Right? You can darken up some spots even more if you want. We're having fun. <laughs> I just realized long are the days of a single camera and makes me smile. Isn't it crazy to think of how far this stream has come? It's been a journey, that's for sure. And I do like private Zoom paint nights now for people and it's so hard to like not have my overlay, to like not be able to like put the picture on like the screen with me or whatever. It's so funny, so different. I know I'm jumping around, so yell at me if it's stressing you out. This is just how my brain works. <laughs> and when we come to this little chameleon's face, we're just going to keep on dab, dab, dabbing. We still have red on our paintbrush. Again, remember, it can be watered down a little bit if you want, so you can get a little bit of different consistency in the values. But see where I'm going, like around the outside of his mouth. Oh, sorry, Zero. Yeah, you're right. I just, it's just one quick little swipey of red down the inside of his tail. Schwap, schwap. Maybe we can, here, I can bring it and zoom this way too. Just a line. No problem. I realize that I'm just jumping around like a crazy person. It's my, my ADD brain is great and also not. <laughs> great for my company or great for my business. Six times out of 10. Sometimes not so much. Okay, so we have red on our brush still and we're just like dabbing around here just under his little chin, chin, chin. The fun thing about this one is we're not going to really, we're going to outline it in blue. Is that going to be just crazy or what? And we've got on his little schnoz. We're just going to follow up that nice little yellow line we already made. Schlob on the schnoz. We are living on the edge with that outline color. We are. But if you look closely at the chameleon here, his outline's in blue. Let's True, see? I live for the color. Okay, and see how I'm just following around that rim. So I did some red dots on that yellow mustache we did on top of his eye. Oops. That's okay. I just made a huge one, but that's fine. All right. And then same on the rim of this back little eyeball we made. Let's make some little dab dabs of red there too. Just up the side. All right? Maybe even a little higher on this one. I don't know. We can play around with that later. Let's just schlob on the schnoz. I have like TikTok songs stuck in my head, you guys. It's a problem. Clap, 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 clap in. What is that? I don't even know what the song is. It's in my head on repeat. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Dresden's yawning, got a crash, but... I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh my gosh! Dresden. Oh, thank you. 
Big prop. Dresden just blessing us, leaving on a high note. Thank you, Dresden. You are just the sweetest always. <laughs> Good night. If you guys press this little potato down there, you'll see what it does. Ah, oh, wow. You sweet, sweet soul. Okay, where am I? Distra I distracted. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, we have red on our brush. Right, right, right. Um, we are just going to fill in half of this eyeball. And we're just going to color it in like a C. Right? Do you see how I'm just mocking the shape of the eyeball and I'm coming all the way to the half point with red? Is that scary? What's the oh, face? Tender bear. If Justin's here, he'll know what I'm about to talk about, but look, I'm bringing up TikTok again. But when Dan and I first started wa watching TikToks, there was this one of this like monkey who got like, like a guy would feed him snacks, but then he would like pretend to steal one and the monkey would be like, <gasps> and that's what I think every time I see that emoji that you just put on there. Just think of that monkey. <laughs> I'll have to find the video. I'll post it on my Instagram later. Okay, we've still got red on our brush, and we're going to do one final thing as long as we're all happy. It's 50-50. If I don't hear from the painters, they're either just having a great time painting away or they're stressed. So I'm going to tell myself that you're having a great time painting away. Okay. <laughs> and we are going to come right to the top of that little yellow bump we made, right? We just added that little yellow bottom part. And again, it might feel weird, but we're trusting the process. And we're just dab dabbing some spots all the way just across because it's his funny little mouth. And while we get almost to the end, we'll bring him down. Because he frowns and it's hilarious. Rosie's a little bit of both, stress and good. Okay, well, one thing that's fair, Rosie, is that you are doing something way different than you've done before. So don't be too worried. New things always bring stress, for sure. You're painting a huge canvas. It's like double the size of what I'm painting right now. So be nice to yourself, okay? Give yourself some time if you need. If you have to wait and finish it with the paint with the YouTube tomorrow, that's fine too. Okay, so our guy's got a mouth. He's got most of his colors started. He's got his floating limb. That's cool. We've got, let's zoom out for a sec. We've, oh, no, let's zoom in. Let's zoom out. Do we have and see a chameleon in the horizon here, folks? Well, guess what? We're going to do exactly what we just did, but we're going to do it with orange. Okay. Yes, says Rosie. Okay, perfect. So like I said, we are just going to do exactly what we just did in the same spots as the red. But now we're just going to add a little bit of orange and keep to my rule. Like I always say, don't cover up all of your work, right? Like it's not like we want to paint over top all the red and just have orange because then what's the point of us doing that red, right? So we're going to come into places like... If we start at the tail, shoop. we're going to do things like bring some orange right in the middle, maybe, of the red and the yellow. So you cover up the red a little bit, but we're not hiding all that previous work that we've done before, okay? So we're bringing some little touches of orange in there. We're still letting the red peek out. If you want to, again, like you can add some little dab dabbies. I don't know. If pointillism is annoying for people, then maybe you don't want to do that. Hey, oh, J.O. How's it hanging? My eyeball hair. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, you know, just like painting a chameleon. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, let 
let me see. I'll go up along here. See our chameleon coming together. And we're just gonna like add some orange to his little foot, that little kidney bean there. J.O., you don't like your username? It's funny because I'm literally in Justin's phone as Heyo Teo. <laughs> so when I read J.O., I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going into this orange here and same old. We're just going to come. Red's going to be at the bottom, but when we come closer to the top of our red spots, let's add some orange and just dab, dab it along. Apparently you can't change it, says Justin. Well, Justin, I feel like you know who to talk to. Oh, but then with all these apparently's, I feel like... I'm out of the loom. <laughs> and you can. <laughs> okay, so... We're still going through and bringing some of that orange on that belly. You weren't trying to run, but it was a happy surprise. Hey, that's nice. Oh! Yeah, but I thought you had, like, a bunch of accounts. <laughs> I just assumed this was, like, another one. Okay, we got <laughs> So Justin's just being a jerk. He's a Justin, not the Justin. The Justin's like this just in, isn't it? That's what I always thought. I could be wrong though, obviously. How's the orange going? See how it's like very subtle, but it's adding lots of nice depth to our Chameleon, you can even sneak some little sneaky orange ones in there. Who knows? And remember, like, everybody does it differently. Like, maybe you want to point the Lism away on this guy for hours. Maybe it's going to take you a couple days to finish him. That's okay, too. But we're still just point, pointing away with our good old orange. Let's bring it into this little mouth of his. Right, and same where we went with all the other red ones but now we're just trying to dab like inside and around those red dots that we made because again we don't want to hide them we just want to add extra colors to our piece which gives it more depth and more texture all these like keywords I always say all the time that mean probably nothing to half of you Right? Da, 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 da. How's that? Are we trusting the process? Are we seeing our guy coming together? I think so. Okay. <laughs> He's so funny right now. Same with these orange line, with these orange, I mean, on your brush, you can also make these bottom. And remember, be conscious of the pressure of your brush, right? If you want your lines to be thin, I'm putting the palm or this part of my hand on the bot on my painting, making sure there's no wet parts underneath, but that's holding the pressure of my brush, right? And I am using just the tip to make these little chin lines. Hello, Charlie Chips. Okay, what? Now I'm confused. <laughs> I should see if my friend Charlie Chips wants to join and Charlie Chips arrives. Hello, Charlie Chips. Welcome to the studs. We are painting a chameleon. And Joe Kaiser. Yo, yo, yo. It's always a nice name we like to see. You're here just in time. Love it. More like Yokaiza. <laughs> so, we're going back into this eye. See how we have orange now? And we're doing the same thing. We're going to color it in with that little C. 
If you want, you can bring it all the way around, but you don't have to. We're just filling in the circle where the red was not. Oh my gosh, uh, here he's coming along. So you can see how my brain works all the time. When I just said, oh my gosh, uh, in my head right away, it just went to like, brush up, brush up, brush up. You know in Greece when they have that toothbrush commercial? <laughs> where my brain went for a second there. 100% <laughs> yes. Yes, Max Brown. Okay. How are we feeling, folks? Okay. Trying to trust the process, Beasley. Beasley, this, is this your first one or you did one with us? Or did you just watch the other time? I believe in you. Watch, okay, that's why. The last five minutes, honestly, when we start outlining all of this stuff, I promise you, you will be happier. Okay. Nico says it's coming along, okay, okay, okay. Well, guess what? It's blue time. Everybody take out your blues. I'm using my good old thylocyanine. <laughs> I always pronounce it so wrong. Th 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 <laughs> I used to call it thylo, but I heard the other day that the P is silent. Thylocyanine blue green shade. Okay. But just your average blue of any sorts will work. Okay, we're going to take a breath, because this is fun, remember you guys? This is fun. 920, we're good. We are good. Okay, my phone's just going off the hook here. Okay, you like Picasso? Same. Okay, so we've got blue on our brush. And remember, if you don't like to use watered down paint, then have some white on your palette as well, right? So let's start with some blue, folks. And we're gonna be doing the same old, same old thing, but we're gonna be going in the side, like in the middle parts, right, of those lines that we've already made. And we don't want too much water on our brush. We want a good in-between. Probably a good 50-50. The same amount of water is the same amount of paint. Mix that little brush around um, into your paint. So you got paint on every bristle. Okay? And then we're going to go for it. Okay? We are going to go in those extra spots. And we are just going to dab that blue in there. And like for some people, if you want to play with texture, like you can take like your finger and you can dab it if you want, right? You can take a rag and dab it around if you want. You can not dab it if you don't want to. Oh my gosh, Sarah, it's 11, almost 11.30 over there. And you're painting it out with us or are you calling it a night and finishing it off with the YouTube video tomorrow? Because I would understand. <laughs> I know the timing is such a hard thing because it's like, okay, if I do it earlier than eight, like most people, what, like they get home from work, they eat dinner, and then it'll be like almost seven by that point. So I didn't want to like start it too worried. Sarah's fallen to the end. We've got a trooper and we like it. There really isn't too much more else to do, I promise you. So we're just going to blue dab dab away. And like I said, depending on how experimental you want to get, like maybe you're dabbing and then you go into just your water. Maybe you just bring some more water in there and play around with that. I don't know. Why is this blurry? Come on, little guy. Again, not everyone has to do these type of things. I'm just, for some people who have painted more than others, maybe if you want to push it a little bit more, play with some textures. I don't know. You can go over top of the green to get a nice little blend in there. 
play with different brush sizes. The world is your oyster. I've said it once already today and I'll say it a million times. But we're bringing that blue on down. Right? Bringing this on down to that arm that we drew. Mm. Right? And let's make another one. And see how the lines are kind of curved. They're not straight down. They're kind of curved with the shape of that egg thing we kind of drew at the start there. But again, people who are stressed, like, let me know. Like, try to put into words what you think is wrong. Or if you want to send me a picture, you can DM it to me on Instagram. But I know not everybody has Instagram. Um, you can email me at hello at taytayski.com. But remember, I always want you guys to be happy with your results at the end. So if I can help you in any way, I will try. That's one thing that's kind of nice about the private Zoom paint nights that I do is that like people can literally like show me, right? Because I can see all of them. Um, so that's nice. A nice change. And then I don't know, maybe we should add some to his little butt. Some people might like pointillism, some people might not. <laughs> Okay. Check that belly out. What a beautiful little guy. I'm just placing. He has an arm there somewhere. We might have lost it, but that's okay. I lost my arm in there too. Okay. And just keep on doing the same old thing. We can make a line so that we know where his belly ends and his legs begin right like again see how messy that is it's fine especially when we're painting something so um textured like this totally not the end of the world if uh our line's a little off or a little frayed or we have to go over a couple times that's fine because people's eyes are going to be so like used to all these crazy or not used to distracted by is probably a better word distracted by all these little dots and textures and colors that oh like look that's a drip by accident but i can promise you they're not going to notice that maybe this one little outline you did you had to go over it twice remember you can always add water into your paint if you want to make it a little bit more translucent or if you don't like that you can add some more white paint into it if you want got some legs with some blue dots and you guessed it we're coming on down and we're gonna put some blue in his tail again 50 50 water to paint you don't want that chocolate milk consistency but when you start you want a good 50 50 and it's okay like this tree branch is just gonna be black so it's okay that we've colored on there black usually goes over anything black's a powerful pigment All right, and see how I'm dab like I'm making these little dabs, but kind of in the idea like they're stripes, right? Like I'm making them come out more in some spots, like stripe, stripe, stripe. Does that kind of make sense? Ow, just poked my eyeball. And just keep on dotting some spots around. Rain says yes. Perfect. Rain, aka Rosie. OK. 
Okay. And again, I'm going to bring them close for you to see to like, again, back to that conversation of like, try not to treat the painting so precious because again, you could be really close and be like, oh my God, what an ugly little dot I just drew. But look from far away, it's okay. But if you look at them really close, right, they are all, maybe I have to do it on this one because my zoom is off. Do you see it in my face there? See, like they're all very messy, but far away they come together. So it's very important to like take a step back from your work sometimes. Because it's easy to get caught up in all of the little details, okay? And stressed. We don't want no stressy depressies over here, okay? Just for these two hours. That's it. We can all be stressy depressy later. <laughs> okay. Oops, just kicked over the table. Okay, and we're at 9.30, cool, because all we really gotta do is add some blue to his face, give him a good outline, and add some white highlight, and you guys, we've got the perfect chameleon. Let me know if you need me to go back down to that tail, but I'm still just cruising along here doing the same thing we've been doing the whole time remember you guys i'm a fast painter and also we are doing this in two like one and a half minute i mean minutes one and a half hours really and if some of you've never painted before like that's nuts so don't be worried if you're not caught up or if you're a little bit behind or if you need a little bit longer the youtube video comes right away it takes me like a couple hours to post it on there and then you can come back and touch it up anytime, okay? Don't worry. Wait, if it's a chameleon, we shouldn't be able to see it. But I'm confused, Jackie Chan. <laughs> this one, it wants to be the center of attention. He wants to be seen, okay? I promise. All right, all right, she leaves. <laughs> Hi, Madge. You sweet soul. Always love seeing you in here. All right. Oh, nice. Max Brown, the perfect prop. <laughs> That's what I picture. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the blue in here and see how I just went into his nose, right? On the inside there and I added the blue. Now it's made it almost like a shadow. Saving uh, some work for us. Okay. We're gonna come under this little nose of his and we're just gonna do a couple little blue dots. It's gonna feel random, but just a couple right here over top of his little nose. Just got orange pink on my face. Right? And then we're gonna circle this whole eyeball of his. Remember, mate, remember about pressure. If you want the line to be thin, don't push too hard on your paintbrush. I'm using a pretty big paintbrush. Matt, you're back. Was it you who had a pet chameleon? We need you to tell us about it. All right, I am circling that whole eye with blue. If you, Matt, I was just asking, you were the one who said you had a pet chameleon, right? I didn't catch it at start when you said it. And it was cool. I've always wanted a pet chameleon. As Matt tells us, oh, it escaped its cage. And then it would blend into stuff. And you like wouldn't be able to find it. Yeah, then it blended into the car. And then your brother, oh. And that's why you don't have him anymore? Oh! Okay, you guys, the story took a dark turn. <laughs> a very dark turn. Poor little guy, what a journey. That's not what I expected at all. So let's go back to our cute, happy chameleon, okay? 
<laughs> I know, that's adorable. <laughs> he lived a happy life. We fed him, we let him run free. Okay, wow, we're all on an emotional journey there with you, Matt. Holy man, what was his name? I'm coming into the eye for painters here. We're coming into the eyeball and we're just going to draw a little circle right here. A little blue circle. Yeah, quite the story in the chats. World's first. Chamillionaire. Matt doesn't remember the actual name of his chameleon, but we think Chamillionaire. Justin suggested a great name. Love it. Chamillionaire is great. Okay, we've got a little eyeball in there. And we're gonna come underneath that eyeball and we're just gonna outline like a little like eye sag. <laughs> He's got bags, you guys. Leave his bags out of his eyes. I mean, <laughs> leave his bags out of his eyes. I meant leave his bags out of this, but don't cause we need to put them in there. Cause look at how much already that just added to his whole eyeball, okay? Trust me, he looks crazy right now, but white is going to make this whole baby beautiful. Okay, and let's go to that little mouth of his, right? And right underneath that red line, maybe kind of in the middle, we're just going to draw a line and it's going to be, you can make it straight if making it wobbly is stressful and you don't want to do that. Um, but you can also make it wobbly. See how we made it wobbly there? If that stresses you out, like I said, make it just a straight line right across. We've got a crazy looking chameleon, but he does still look even more like a chameleon than he ever did before, right? Okay. I hope you're with me. From this little mouth. We're going to come down that yellow line that we made, right? You know what? I'll wait. I'll wait for the outline because for outlines for some people, we are going to be doing it in blue, but if you are somebody who has paint markers or has a Sharpie and you rather outline with a Sharpie than a pencil, than a brush, like if you're not as comfortable or confident in your brush work, I always let you guys know, like, you want a Sharpie? This painting's for you. Use a Sharpie. Don't tell my art teachers I told you that, but you can use a Sharpie. If you have paint mm, paint markers, like I always tell you guys about our Molotow paint markers that I use all the time. These work great for outlines as well. But I believe in you if you want. You use a brush, a little brush. It doesn't even have to be this thin. Um, it can like this, you, this thin can even give you lines quite small. I just, doing these enough, I'm realizing that that's what people get stressed out the most about is usually outlines. So I don't want you to. We're going to just go through a couple of things before we have to do the outlines, okay? So from this eyeball, we're going to draw just a little line right through it so that it looks like a little Saturn, right? We have a little Saturn. And then with our brush... We don't want too much paint on it. We are going to draw a circle around the eye and it's okay if it gets thick and crazy because white is gonna be the last step in the eyeballs, okay? So we are gonna do a circle around that little Saturn. Do you see that? We've got a circle. And then from that circle, we are going to keep circling outwards. And it's okay if it's messy, if it's okay if it's a little wild, because they are just like wrinkly eye spots, right? And then you're just going to keep mocking that circle until you get to the end. Do you see that? Right? Oops, oops. See that? He looks like he's like, what you called it, um, under hypnosis at the moment. Okay, we are going to, like I said, just about the outline. So you decide if you want to use a black Sharpie or you want to use a paint marker, you can do it. But I will be using a brush, teaching you how to do it with a brush. And it's the same old, what we were doing the whole time. You don't want too much water, 
but you don't want only paint. You do want it wet so that you can pull it across the page nicely. Okay. And we're just going to be outlining this baby, bringing it all together. Like I said, I'm using blue and a brush. You can use whatever you want that you're most, com most, most comfortable with. And we are going to, if you want, again, you can make it like bumpy, right? Like how we did this before. Or you can just do a straight on outline if you rather. Rosie's chameleon's fat. You know what? That's okay. I think mine's going to be pretty fat too once we get those lines in there. Nothing wrong with a little chubby chameleon. What do chameleons eat? Do they eat bugs? Matt, you said you fed your chameleon. You don't remember his name, but you remember feeding him. What did you feed him? Okay, and then same on here. Just outline these shapes. You see that head coming together? Body positivity is beautiful. Yeah, see, it's beautiful. Big Pot just came to say by days, paint by numbers. Okay, Big Pot, where do I send you your marketing check, you sweet soul? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and her Etsy, too. <laughs> well, actually, I do have a sale on my Etsy right now, okay? It is 20% off the entire store. And if you use, if you pick a Mother's Day card and you use the code, I got it for my mama, full capitals. I'll give you the card for free, okay? We've got some new Mother's Day cards on there. I totally knew that. Of course you did, Big Pot. You're obviously helping me with my marketing, you sweet soul. <laughs> You're the best. Okay, how's that? We've got some lands down. We probably can put some blue like dots in there, which we didn't, but that's fine. We'll do that later. And we're coming on down the line here, and let's just bring this, we think... We're going to go past the circle that we drew and come on right down to make our chameleon's neck. Right? We're following the circle of that original one we drew, but we're going to come straight on down. Tell me if it's stressful. Right? And then remember how we kind of made like a little C down here already? We were preparing for that little jawline of his. So we're just going to Circle that C, basically. Do you see? Circle that C, do you see? Right? Here's his mouth. And where it comes down, we've got a big old... Oh, just kidding. That's a backwards C. <laughs> Almost a C. Right? And then you're also just gonna attach that bottom right in there. Look at that chameleon head that we just drew out of all those funny shapes and dots and whatever, and look at that. We've got a chameleon's face. Chameleons look like they're on Crack 24 7, but they change colors, so they're cute. <laughs> they do look a little crazy, but we love them anyway. So with this triangle here, see how I just brought the line straight down to make it a little bit sharper? And then we're just pulling it together. We've got a nose. Yours looks like a grandpa, grandpa chameleon? Okay, love that. Why? Why do you think he looks like a grandpa? <laughs> Is he just like old and rickety? Like... <laughs> Are you saying that... A chameleon, Matt, can see 360 degrees all around all the time. Like, his eyes are just like, oh. Now I can't see. <laughs> that his eyes are just wild and they can look behind his head. That's pretty nuts. Because you're not a chameleon. I know. Look at that. Okay. And we're still drawing these lines. Let's bring this line up around his eye. Pull it on back. And since they're wrinkly little guys, we're just gonna draw a couple lines over here to draw where his little neck ends. See how I'm just drawing lines again to make it look like he's wrinkly? And we've got a neck. 
We're going to be adding white to finish it, okay? Their eyes can move independent of each other and go all the way. Like, isn't that hard to imagine, like, what that looks like? Like, how can you see forwards and backwards at the same time? I just, that's hard to imagine. Okay, and we can go down in the same mold. We can outline our little guys, little spikies if you want. But if it's stressful, don't do it. Okay, and we're just outlining. But when we get down to the bottom, it's just going to be a nice blue or black, whatever you're using, line. And I always stress, right? Like, if something I'm doing just isn't working for you or you don't even want to try it, then, like, don't. I don't want you to be, like, I love the painting until I did this. Like, I don't want that to happen for you either. So don't worry if something isn't going right. Klutz drew fake teeth on your lizard. Uh, okay, love that. I'd love to see. It's the Sobe lizard. It kind of is like the Sobe lizard, isn't it? And then when we get to his leg, the only difference, remember this was one big bean, but now we're cutting it in half. Bring it closer. Right? We're cutting it in half. And we're outlining the whole leg. Meow. Oops, I outlined that a little thick, but that's okay. Same with this little foot. You're just gonna outline that little kidney bean that we drew. All right. I haven't had a Sobe in so long. Vincent, that brings me back to junior high. There's a couple little lines in his little, where his leg meets his belly. And then same old, same old folks. We're just outlining the tail. Some of you might have done that already when we were doing the dot dots. That would have been smart. And as you can see in my reference photo, there's like a drip that comes out of his tail. Again, I usually don't plan the drips. I like kind of let the drips happen. But a way to make them happen is, again, remember how we can load our paintbrush up with water? Make that chocolate milky consistency. Again, this is a very optional option. Optional option. Optional thing to do if you want. But you're loading up that paintbrush with that watered down paint and you're gonna press your paintbrush where you want the drip to go. And if there's enough water on it, it should naturally. Well, again, of course your painting has to be high, held, like standing up, not flat. You can go in with more just water on your brush and just tap it until that bead gets big enough. And then she'll drip away. Can you drip? Can you do what I'm telling everyone you'll do? Whoop, there we go. Again, I just like, I usually the drips just happen organically, um, but you can make them happen if you want to. Okay. Now let's fill in that arm. If you can't see your beans anymore that we drew with this one other arm, that's totally okay. Like we can ad lib a little bit, like let's just outline whatever we can see at the bottom here. All right, we've got, oops, that's a bad line. We've got underneath his arm. Oops. All right. And we've got over top his arm. You can bend the line down a tiny touch if you want, but you don't have to if you don't want to. All 
And then we're just going to add match up wherever. If you can't find where the leg or where the arm was originally, you can just add the line there. If you can see your original circles, great. I don't see mine. So we're just going to ad lib there a little bit, right? If that doesn't look right, let me know. Send me a picture. We can work that out. And just close off the top here because he's going to be holding on to a little branch. Okay. How is that? So far, basically all we need is to do the white and his big black log there and we'll be done. His big black trunk tr branch. Why do I keep calling it the wrong thing? But he's looking pretty fine. So first step, let's just do the white. Let's do, where is my white? Let's get white on our palettes. Rosie says it's going great. Just going to get a little bit of white out. And we're going to start dab dabbing some white around. Story of our lives. You can use the same brushes. You can get a little bigger one if you want. I probably need to use this size. I'll show you because I see it's 9.52. Look at me with my terrible timing. Okay, I've got this brush. Boop. And if you look at our chameleon here, see this white stripe? I don't know if you can see my mouse. I don't think you can. There's this white stripe on his back, right? And that's what we're about to do with the same technique we've been doing the whole time by getting our brushes wet, adding a little bit of water to your palette, not too much. You want more paint than water, but water will help it be a little translucent. And let's pick a spot to start that white line and try to remember where that original bean we drew was. Remember we drew this, or egg, I think we decided to call it. It was right here in the middle, right? And we're just going to bring that white. And the same, we're dab-dabbing it. And we're bringing it across. Right? Doo, doo, doo. And we're following that shape. That was that original shape that we drew down there. And that was just to help us kind of visualize how these angles work. And then it's the same as we've been doing this whole time. Maybe you want to bring a couple of little taps of white down here. Maybe there's a couple off his belly. But this is what I mean by you decide how far you want to push the painting, right? Like you could have went in and splattered all these colors if you want. You could add like seven more colors if you want and just keep doing this little tap tap technique here. If you want to build up some more colors and textures there. We can add some little white highlights on his little toesies. Sure. Oh, you can't even see that. Looking real cute. Thanks, Kenzie. Right. Depends on how much. You want to put the white down. Let's give him some little white spots on his hand. The painting's really nice too. Uh, Kenzie, you flirty gal. <laughs> you sweet soul. Did you see the shirt I'm wearing today? <laughs> Single and ready to mingle, Jesus. We got it. Maybe our next group video, uh, what you call it, group live stream is a dating show for Kenzie. Should we? 
Bring in some hopefuls. She's ready. How is that looking, folks? And we'll, uh, we'll start it now. If there's anybody that wants to be on Kenzie's dating show, holler at us. Send an email to kenziezrs.com. <laughs> I'm just going into this cutie little mouth. And up here, and we're just adding again. It like feels redundant, but adding these little white highlights on top of all these layers. It's really bringing our little guy together. Kenzie's a Libra, loves short walks, and I'm normally covered in cat hair. Perfect. That is a perfect, um, what you call it, dating app what you call it. Why can't I think of the words? What's at the bottom? <laughs> what you read? Content of your page? Bio! <laughs> Bio. That's what we mean. <laughs> okay. Here is our little guy. We're adding some more texture and some more color in there. And when it comes to his eyeball, we're gonna add a little bit of white underneath. But remember, always show your work so you don't wanna cover it fully. And when it comes to his eyes, this is what I meant by don't stress too hard if your blue lines are a little <laughs> thick, because now we're going in with, I don't know why this is so low, because now we're going in with white. And if you made your outline of with the blue too thick, you can paint a little bit over those lines, right, with the white. But we're basically doing the same thing, but we're swiping the white through roughly. And that's why we painted the undercolors just messily with no really rhyme or reason, because it's okay, because we're covering so much of it up with the white like that. Right, do you see that? Kenzie says, if Caffeine wants a new show, she's ready. Um, are there any Caffeine um, spokespeople in the chat right now looking for a new show? Finding love with Kenzie? Anyone? <laughs> it's just me and you hanging out now. Sorry, Kenzie. <laughs> Okay. I know it's 9.59. My anxiety is just like off the roof. And then to finish him off face-wise, we're just going to go back in with our white and just swipe down in the same direction of those little orange lines we made, right? Okay, I think other than the branch, let's zoom out for a second. How do we feel about him so basically far? He's basically done. Um, there's some places like maybe if there's too much white in some of these parts, like remember it can be done whenever you say it's done. Like if you wanna go back in with green and just a couple more spots, you can, if you think you need to add more colors in any spots, go for it. We put white on his tail. Oh my gosh, Can what would I do without you, Rosie? Yes, come on down to his tail and we're doing the same old thing. We're just gonna add some little white spots on there too. See the time, I, I went over the two hour time and then my brain's just panicking and I'm forgetting, okay? Same old, we can add some little white spots in his tail. And our last thing is gonna be that tree branch, but it's literally just like a black line. Well, that should be okay. But while everyone else is almost at the finished Heart, how do we feel? Do there anything else that we need to tweak or fix in certain areas? Who was it? Beasley. 
How do we feel so far? Can I help with anything else if we need? Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about up here. Better, okay, I'll take it. I'll take the better. Ow, oh, that was my elbow. One thing that I just didn't do that if case you guys want to do um, is put blue dots in this part here because the blue is also acting as like a shadow, right? It's like a darker color, it helps push that back so that you can kind of see that that's like in his little you felt that out i know you felt my elbow crack it was the not so funny funny bone and again you bring these as many colors as you want maybe somebody wants to like add some pink to their chameleon maybe whatever but now that you have the basic shapes laid out right you can Kind of, it's kind of easier for you to choose where you want to put more colors and more of these little spots, right? I don't know. I'm just playing around because nobody's saying nothing. So I'm just going to do that. You can even, if you want, go on down this way. And then let's paint that. Um, what is it? It's a try. <laughs> Why is my brain like this? It's a twig. It's a Dick. <laughs> it's a branch. <laughs> okay. So we are ready to paint a tree. And it, the tree is literally just black. Um, if you want to make it brown, you can make it brown. I made it black just because it's such a colorful, crazy piece in the first place that black's kind of nice to just like subdue it a little bit. But with this one, you want a little bit bigger of a brush. I'm going to use this big old baby. But you can use like this size. You can use a square. You can use a rounded square. Whatever you prefer, but I would just suggest it be a little bit bigger than what we've been using this whole time. Okay, and we're gonna paint that tree stick and we're gonna, I don't even have black on my canvas. And we're gonna be done after that, okay? I know I'm, you poor Ontarioans, it's like mid after midnight, I'm leaving you astray. Okay, we've got a big brush. We got black on our palette and we're gonna get that brush wet. And we're gonna mix it around in that black a little bit, okay? And we're gonna use that original line that we drew as our um, layout, whatever, as our base drawing. And we'll start first by going right under his little hand. <laughs> it's not after midnight for us, Rosie. Sorry for stressing you out. It's after midnight for the people in Ontario. <laughs> Sorry. It's only after 10, don't worry. Okay, so we're gonna start going right underneath this little hand of his, right? Cause he's kind of holding on to a little stumpy. And then we're gonna bring that black right underneath this foot, but over top the tail. See there? Well, I guess I keep, maybe I should just stay zoomed in all day today. Right, so we went under the foot because the foot is on top of the log, right? But we went on top of the tree, like we went right over top that tail because that is, um, because the branch is over top of his tail, okay? And remember, you can play around with like making your paint more translucent by like wiping your brush off on your rag and then with just water on your brush coming into that tree and you can kind of pull some of that color out if you want again oh it looks just pure black on the screen that's helpful doesn't look like anything well trust me that that pulled out the color a little bit <laughs> or again if you don't like that water technique just add some white in there that's all you need to do is add some white to change the value. It's gonna make it a little bit gray, but if that's what you're looking for. 
and see how I said how we're using the line as just like a base. So like here, the line is on the edge and I'm gonna bring the branch on the bottom side of that line. And I'm gonna always go up and down to kind of keep that like bark branchy look to it. You can kind of like sharpen some edges if you want, make it lumpy, I don't know, whatever you wish. But on this side, the line was on this side and we brought it to the bottom. But once we got down here, I brought the line above it. So that green line that we originally had was just to help us prep and lay out where that will go. But we don't have to stick to it like glue, okay? So he's holding on to that little branchy also too, right? We're not painting over top of his hand because his hand's over top of the branch. But we're painting over top the tail because the branch is over top his tail. And like I said here, if you want, let's go with a touch of white on my brush and you can kind of pull some little like branchy lines like right little thinner lines throughout let me bring it closer so you can see to give a little bit of that wood texture okay see that see there's some little white streaks in there just to make it a little barky you can even like make like a little branch out if you want i don't know that's cool Maybe there's another one down there. All right, how's that? And see, like, we don't really have to worry too much about those colors under there being anything. It just, like, implies that his body goes there. That's fine. And again, I'm a messy painter, so I like to leave it like off on the side right like I like the to leave it painterly edged but you don't have to if you want to paint that flush to the edge go for it Rosie likes the branches it looks so beautiful she says oh well that's nice that the branches were a success okay I think we're complete this guy has better posture than this guy over here. Kenzie said she worked hard on mine, so I'm very curious of what type of chameleon we're going to be getting from her in a second here. Should I start showing? Tim Buck, thank you. I'm glad you liked the chameleon. It was a fun one. I want to know the people that were stressed out. Are you still stressed out? How do you send it? Okay, do you if you have Instagram... My Instagram is the same, Taytayski, where is my hand? Whoop, right here, um, as a DM, or email it to me at hello at taytayski.com. Whatever is easiest for you. Um, the way that I'll, I'll show everybody, here we go, let me see. I will, uh, let's go here. somebody else doing a different paint night right now okay cute love them okay um has anyone sent in oh we've got a tough night okay 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 so <laughs> no okay this family okay okay this family just said that this was a tough night, but I'm looking at them now and they did. I think you guys did a great job. Okay, wait, we'll start here. Okay, look at this colorful beauty. Just make sure I have everything on here. Okay, um, beautiful. Oh, you guys can't see my mouse anymore. That makes me sad. Okay, beautiful. Also beautiful. Look at this blue one. Oh, and the pink one. You guys just have to paint your branches. That's all. I think they turned out so... And look at this one. You guys. I don't think it was a tough night. I think... Well, 
sorry. Yes, it might have been tough, but I think you did a really good job. Again, I love how this family, they always do them so different. Oh, I love that. Okay, we've got another one here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, look at this beauty as well. Oh, I love the colorful. This one is a fun one because of the colors. Okay, lovely. Who do we got here? Oh my gosh, here's another beauty. This one, you, you were saying at the start that it looked like a potato. And I don't think he does anymore. Okay, you guys are just nailing it today. Okay, let's see what else do I got here? What else do I got here? Rosie. The biggest painting she's ever done. And she just nails it. Oh my gosh. How did you like it, Rosie? Oh my gosh. We're getting photos live in the moment. Rosie. I nailed it. Bam, says Rosie. <laughs> she did. Wow. Rosie, tell everybody how old you are. That's the craziest part to me. I just want you guys to know that I didn't paint like this when I was her age. She's seven. She's seven, just so you guys know. Oh my gosh. Amazing, Rosie. And you stayed up late with us this time. You're amazing. Love it. I hope you hang up that big chameleon somewhere. Okay, here's another. Oh my gosh, you guys, everyone did so good today. Zero says Justin sent you mine. Okay, good, good, good. I will check Justin's as well. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, okay. Let me just, just because you'll be able to see what me and this person were talking about before, I'll just move that up quick. We've got another here. Um, beautiful. Oh no, Justin, not you, someone else. I know that you know. Um, uh, oh my gosh. Look at this little guy. For some reason, this one reminds me of, um, have you guys seen the movie Rango? I highly suggest it. It's an animated movie with a chameleon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Then you wouldn't even see the message anyway. Okay. Nailed it. Another nail. Everybody's nailing it today. They all look so, so good. So cute. Agreed, Rosie. Um, where, who am I missing? We're going to Justin so we can see zero. Oh, oh, oh. So we can see zero and... Oh my gosh. Look at the Zero family. We've got Beasley with the traditional, who wasn't liking, not not liking, but you're telling yourself to trust the process, and I hope that you're happy with the results because I think it turned out really good. Look at those little spotty colors. And then we've got Digital Zero down here with the cool signature that we will always remember. Oh my gosh. You got... Proud teacher moments. Okay, let me see. Make sure that I'm not missing any. Um, 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 I think. Oh, wait, Kenzie's. Right, 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 right. Oh, no, Fancy Pants. That's who we, that's what I want you to send it over Instagram. Here's Kenzie's. <laughs> Kenzie. Excuse me? <laughs> he looks great. Looks just lovely. <laughs> He's a handsome Squidward. <laughs> um, I'm trying to look for yours, um, fancy pants. Let me reload this here. Let me see, let me see. I can't find it. More like a no FT, she says. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go back through the ones we had, right? One, two. Pretty uh, beautiful. Both, number two, we've got cute. Oh, she sent a, we'll listen to that after. Rosie with the cutie. We've got this baby. I love seeing the pencil beforehand. We have this cutie as well. We come over here. We have another cutie. Another cutie. And again, you guys said tough night, but I think you all did a very good job in this family. They're all so good, honestly. That's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to find... Oh. Oh, we've got another. You didn't sign in, but joined you anyways and loved it. Oh, that's okay. See, look, you still got to go. Gotta go. Fun night. No worries. You go. I don't, you probably gotta go to bed, you Ontario man. Thank you for sticking with us the whole time. Okay. Another cutie. Love the splatter. Love, love, love. So you guys are all sneaking them in here at the end, a couple extras, awesome. Okay. You guys and gals and all in between. Today was a good day. Everybody, literally everybody did good. And just for fun, cause we're here. Oh, I'm not on this, let me go back to here. Somebody at the same time was doing the turtle paint night, which is kind of fun. I like that. Okay. Okay, okay, you guys. Anybody else? I'm chilling for a minute because I'm looking for fancy pants. I don't want to miss your um, message on there, but I don't see it. Am I blind? Am I blind? But it looks like it was a success. I just have to write back to this person here. Okay. I think it is time for a, oh, emailed. Right, 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 right. I got it. I got that one. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud. Beasley, I got your email too. Okay, well, man, today was a good day. Um, everybody thought it was going to be too hard and look what happened. Thanks, Tay. Rosie had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, right. And Rosie too. I'll listen to your message. It won't work when I listen to it on the live here, but, um, so glad Rosie loves her big guy. She painted her first big one. We always love having Rosie. She's gonna paint us all out of the water one day. I can promise you that. Especially because she likes to do it. I won't wait as long to get her back on, says Rain. Ah, life's busy. You have other children too. I can't even imagine how busy your lives are. No worries. Toss on a YouTube if you ever want to, too. Rosie's got her cutie little desk, right? Love that. Okay. Oh, thanks for the, and leaves with a prop. You sweet family, thank you. Alrighty, I think it's time. How do I do, what do I, how do I? Oh, thanks, Rain. Um, what's the, be the stick. So as she, she knows what I was about to say, how am I, what thumbnail am I gonna do? Get out of here, guy. I'll just turn it more this way. What is the thumbnail going to be today? Do I just blend into the wall? Be the fly that it's eating, like this, and its tongue will just be like, Glum! I think that's actually a good one. So I just have to be scared. Ah! 
No? Anybody else have suggestions? No? Just just the fly? Okay, cool. And this is going to be... That was the quickest thumbnail session we've ever had in our lives, isn't it? Being the stick would be hard. <laughs> How do I be the stick? <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah, guys? I'm going to be the fly that it eats. It's fine. <laughs> okay, yowza. Today's went a little bit later than anticipated, but that's okay. I'm just going to check to make sure again. I don't want to miss fancy pants. Ooh, somebody just suggested a praying mantis to paint. Hmm. Would anyone else want to paint a praying mantis? An orchid mantis? What is that? Sarah wants to paint RuPaul. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a fun one, but a tough one. Maybe if I can find like a cartoon, like a cartoon, what you call it, version of RuPaul and like color. I'm imagining drag RuPaul, right? Um, or boy RuPaul. That would be fun too, a little baldy. So Matt Black says, you used to catch those two when you were a kid. Orchids? I mean, mantises? Where did you live? Okay, let me see here. Oh, Africa. Do you actually live in Africa? I was gonna assume that you lived in Poland. <laughs> then I was like, do praying mantises exist in Poland? Now I need to know what an orchid mantis is. You guys are all just leading me astray over here. Orchid Mantis. Born in Poland, lived in Africa for three years, then moved to Canada. Well, that is cool. Matt, I didn't know you were so worldly. Okay, Kenzie was talking about the Orchid Mantis, and it's actually weirdly beautiful. So for the few of you that are left here, oops. I'm going to show you because it's uh, very pretty. Orchid mantis. Okay, you guys, look at this. Look at these little flower. Look, isn't that crazy? They literally look like flowers. Like what? That's so crazy. Like a pretty little flower. Man, the world's crazy. Evolution's beautiful, heck. Yeah, Matthew. Okay, well, wow, that took a turn at the end. Just, uh, oops, not a turn, but um, uh, a theme, a content change there. We went from chameleons to paint nights to flower bugs. No. Is a mantis a bug? Yes. I'd assume. Who knows? Okay, anyway, you guys, before I get astray, let's just... Next week is a lion. The heavily anticipated lion. So I'm excited for that one. See you at the same time, same place, Thursday, 8 p.m. Mountain time, standard time, mountain daylight's time. What are we in right now? It's mountain time. That's all I've got. Um, and then we'll, I'm gonna have to make a whole new schedule for the next month because holy crap, this month is almost done and that's insane. Um, that's all I got, folks. Thanks for painting with me today. Everyone did so good. I'm so proud of everybody. And catch you on the flip side, okay? See you next time. Zero and your sister had a good time. Yes! That's all I got.
That's all I need to hear. No problem. Love when it's a family affair. No problem, Matt, even though I know you didn't paint along. Jerk. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're probably working and that's fine. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the mic drop over here. Oh my gosh. The fireworks. Justin's going to try this this weekend. I'm telling you. He's got to. Oh my gosh, Matt, I will never judge anyone for not painting along. I was just playing with ya. Thank you for everything. Had fun, Beasley. Yes! That's all I could ever ask for. Your little guy turned out so good. I'm so happy you trusted the process. Okay? Okay. Adieu, everybody. You're the best. See you next time.